Hey guys, Shuli here, your build order Mr. Miyagi, and today we'll be looking at a more advanced build order, the Drush Fast Castle. We will be going with a 32 plus 2 build order, with the 32 being made of 28 villagers, 1 scout, and 3 militia. If done perfectly, we will be in Castle Age by 1631. The Drush Fast Castle is a Dark Age rush with the goal of getting to Castle Age as quickly as possible. The idea is to make three militia as soon as you can to distract and bother your opponent, hopefully making their Dark Age messy and keeping your Dark Age squeaky clean. This buys you the time to wall off your base so you can defend against any Feudal Age pressure, such as scouts or archers, and get to Castle Age well before your opponent. From here, you will have a huge power spike to possibly take out their army, poke at their economy, or build up your own economy more quickly. In this specific build, we will be transitioning into crossbows in Castle Age. There are other transitions you can do, but crossbows are one of the strongest. They can start to be massed on the way up to Castle Age, they aren't stopped by enemy walls as easily, and they don't require food, so you will have an easier time booming behind your attack. The Drush Fast Castle is viable on any open map that has the potential for walling, such as Arabia, Golden Pit, or Gold Rush. Yet it does depend on the kind of map that is generated. You want close, natural barriers so that you won't have to wall too much. And you want safe resources so you can't be attacked easily from outside the walls by towers or feudal archers. If you do get an open map or forward resources, you are going to be left vulnerable. So I recommend having a backup strategy in mind to switch to. For this reason, scouting your map early on is crucial so you can make an informed decision about strategy as well as figuring out how best to wall your base. The build works with any Civ, but it works especially well with the Vietnamese, Aztecs, Britons, Goths, Celts, Vikings, Mayans, and Ethiopians. The last thing to note to make this build effective is how to fight with your militia. You won't win the game in the Dark Age, so don't expect to get 10 villager kills and take out the town center. Think of your militia as the Three Stooges. Stumbling around, causing chaos, drawing attention from those around them. Your drush should not look like this. Or this. but like this, hit and run, making villagers idle and slowing your opponent down. If your opponent makes militia to fight back, don't just commit to a fight, but make them a part of your parade and buy as much time as you can so they don't come to your base. The hard part though, is to not let these stooges stop you from paying attention to your own economy as well. Before we get into it, there is a version of the build in text format down in the description if that's more your style. Feel free to use it, tweak it, or make notes with it. In this build, you won't have to lure any deer, but if one is close to your town center and you have the time, it helps to have the extra food. With that, let's take a look. Start by making two houses and scout your base. If you are able to, use your sheep to help scout as well. Send your first six villagers to sheep, then send four villagers to wood. Try and pick a wood line that will be protected and away from the front of your base. Send the next villager to lure your first boar. Then send one villager to make a house and then make a barracks at the front of your base. This villager will be dedicated to walling and will need to make three more houses and wall off the entirety of your base throughout the Dark Age. Send two villagers to the boar under your town center for a total of nine. Then send the next villager to lure the second boar. By this point, the barracks should be done, so make three militia and send them forward. Force drop off food to make the militia as quickly as possible while still having constant villager production. Choose the closest gold pile and send the next villager to gather 10 gold. 
Once he has the 10 gold, send him to the TC to drop off the gold and then send him to wood. The extra 10 gold gives us enough gold for loom. Send the next three villagers to wood for a total of eight. At this point, the second boar should have almost run out. So take five healthy villagers from under the TC to make a mill and collect berries. Send the next six villagers to sheep under the town center. Anytime you have more than six collecting sheep at once, take the extra villager and make a farm. Send the last three villagers to gold. And then get loom. Click up with 28 villagers. Once the sheep run out, send all the villagers to seed farms except for one to go to straggler trees. At this point, you should have 10 on farms, 5 on berries, 8 on wood, 1 on straggler trees, 3 on gold, and 1 villager walling. Queue up 2 villagers and send them to gold. Use your walling villager, your straggler tree villager, and a wood villager to make a range and a blacksmith. Two for the range and one for the blacksmith. Use these buildings to reinforce your walls. Click up. On the way up, get double bit axe. Make a second range with the two villagers that made the first and then send them to gold. Use the blacksmith builder to make houses reinforcing your base. Get fletching from the blacksmith. Start massing archers from both ranges. Get horse collar. When the berries run out, send those villagers to make a second lumber camp. Queue up villagers and send them where needed, most likely wood or gold. Get the bow saw upgrade. Get the crossbow upgrade and get botkin arrow when you can. Work your way up to a 3TC boom while applying pressure with your crossbows. From here, you have a lot of options, so adapt to what the game needs. This is where I set you free, you gorgeous club-carrying Neanderthals. If you want to see the Drushfast castle done right, there is a link in the description to Hera pulling it off wonderfully. If you want to see what it looks like when you play it, you can come hang out with me on Twitch and see it live. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below any build orders you would like to see in the future. Thank you to Evil DM for the build order suggestion for this video. Thanks for watching and good luck out there on the ladder.